I like it cold. And APU, green APU, keeps me cold. <laughs> All right, it is a beautiful morning. Um, woke up at seven and checked out these loads. And I've uh, been just chilling here waiting ever since. So let's get this day going. Check out these loads before I get going. Truck smarter. Let's check out loads today. Tuesday morning, oh, it's 7 a.m., 7.30 is when I recorded this. Uh, 3,550 loads within 200 miles. Jackson is right next to where I'm at. Griffin and Jackson border each other. I'm on the border of them. Um, that load was up yesterday. That makes C.H. Robinson. They did not take 500, so it's back up for 390. They're just not moving on any loads. They know that they have guys that will take it eventually so they do not move they don't need to have anything move so it's not really a great market to uh stick to your guns and know your worth because they're just going to bounce a load to the next day so plenty of loads out here though like 571 for two drops and it doesn't pick up till eight o'clock at night like come on it's a bad pickup time dun, dun, dun. when you see a spectrum like that of a low to high range of price it's because they didn't list a price because a lot of times when it's a broker favored market when they have all the power um they're just going to see who's going to bid the lowest so they're not going to put a price out there because they want to see who's going to come in dirt cheap just to go somewhere so conyers 650 uh so maybe um and it's going back towards florida but not into florida Two drops, Sarasota, Fort, Fort Myers, 600 miles, $1,300. Two drops. Those Akalas, there was like six of those up. I mean, it looks like there still is. <laughs> but look at the pickups, like late at night, and then their drops late at night. That's not ideal at all. I want an early morning or afternoon pickup and an early morning drop. Uh, that one out to Savannah. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Winter Garden from Fairburn. Just so low on all these rates. Well, 544, 166 miles. Jacksonville for 880. That's a maybe right there. Demonte Foods is going to Publix, which is a good unloader. Uh, now we're getting into Atlanta. Just a little bit more deadhead. And depending on what side of Atlanta you're going to go into and what time you're picking up, that's when you start worrying about the major traffic. That's so why I'm not a big fan of Atlanta, unless it's down here in Jackson, Griffin, McDonough area, where you can just go back to Florida or shoot over on the 20, because if you have to go through the 285 for a long time, it's going to take you a while. Oh, just not a great day, not a great week for loads. Oklahoma City, 842 miles, $1,200. Uh, Austell, it's kind of on the, uh, I think that's the west side of Phoenix. And then Ladson's way out there by Charleston. Doo, doo, doo. Lots and lots of loads. Look at that. We're only 50 miles in of Deadhead, and we're still pages and pages of loads. It's going all the way down there. Back towards Valdosta. What's 650? Uh, what's it? Scale tickets, uh, I hate scale tickets, but if it's worth it, it's worth it. So we'll bid on that. Uh, what else? Villarica is the west side of uh, Atlanta, kind of past Fulton County. Da, da, da. Miami for $1,200, guys. Wow. It's all the way down here. You got the deadhead back at least 300 miles to get something worthwhile. When you see all those ranges, it means they did not post a rate. They're just saying who's going to come in uh, the lowest. Miami again. Mississippi, Illinois. Start Cartersville kind of is north of Atlanta to Fort Lawn. Another spectrum, no price given. Just what are you going to bid? And Truck Smarter luckily gives you like a. This is kind of what that lane is gone for, what that pickup and to drop off is gone for, but uh, they're not posting anything because they know someone's going to scrape to the bottom. Now we're getting a little bit higher in the deadhead. 
uh, getting over to where I live. Calhoun's kind of way up towards Chattanooga. Hartwell's where my lake property is. So yeah, we're getting a little higher in a deadhead. That one's a mm, kind of north of uh, Charlotte. Picks up till eight o'clock. It's boxes. That's maybe eight o'clock in the morning drop. That's a good drop. A little bit on that one for sure. See what to come back with. The convoy has not been countering offering or anything lately. The other load I did last week, they did call me because they needed that load moved, but the shipper would not ship it. So we didn't even get that one. Doo -doo -doo. But yeah, Tuesday morning, 7.30 in the morning. That's, this is how many loads are on the board. And it's just not, uh, not happening. Not at all. We're getting all the way to Anderson now. Doo -doo -doo. This yellow to Fort Pierce? Oh my goodness. Dollar thirty four a mile to Dallas. Let's see what the uh uh flatbed loads look like. Fourteen hundred? Alright. What about reefer? How many do we got for reefer in the uh, Atlanta area? Only eight sixty when we had thirty, what, thirty five hundred for Atlanta? Okay guys, that is Tuesday morning. Nice little, nice little tow rig, and a lady is driving it. <laughs> it's a nice truck. Uh, loads are just, as you saw on the board, there's a lot of them picking up later today, but there is nothing happening right now. There's Even the ones that are picking up later, they're still not uh, moving on them. So I don't know, guys. Maybe uh, the freight market took a really bad volume dump recently, but it's not good. So I'm going to get some lunch or early, early lunch, late breakfast, and see what we got going on. But man. My other Camworth buddy's still hanging out with me. Well, that's about it. That's a cool tow rig, though. Nice uh, lady walked over. I was like, oh, you're walking to that truck? That's pretty cool. I guess it can't tow like a... I don't know if it can't tow a lot of weight or if it can, but it's just got like a little added tow attachment to the back. Pretty cool. All right, we're airing up. Get this thing ready in case something pops up, which I pray it does. They really do have some amazing coffee here at this truck stop. I feel like I've been living here for a couple days though. Um, there's this load over here, uh, C.H. Robinson, right when it went on the board. I emailed my broker and he said, uh, someone's already in it. When they say someone's already in it, that means another broker has a carrier and they're trying to work a deal on it. He said he's already in it for 1500. That is, ah, she's so, if that's the new norm, go to Orlando, we're in trouble, Orlando area. But um, I bid, what, eight, nine, 18, 15 on that one, 19? And then there's this other one for Coyote that popped up and uh, it raised the price, but it, it's picking up in like a half an hour. I could be there if I left like now. So I emailed that my buddy. I have a broker for uh, Coyote now, and um, haven't heard back yet, but we'll see. But they counter offered only what four dollars more. <laughs> so I'll do that one for eighteen fifty. Also, those used to be twenty five hundred, but I guess we're going to be down below two grand now. But fifteen hundred, thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred. That's too low. It is BK have it your way. I'm gonna try some of those wraps that I see on TV. Um, but you see here, they counter offered me at the exact rate that it was. <laughs> so I counter offered at 19. Um, and my guy, my broker guy hasn't gotten back to me. He's probably on lunchtime because it's new. But I went higher on the bid and then they moved, moved the appointment from 12.30 to 1.30. So I could have been there if I left right now on time. But now we have another hour. So we'll see if my broker gets back to me. You just can't be taking stuff to Orlando for 1400 for 1500 bucks. Not, not happening. You still make a little bit of money, but like you heard yesterday's video, that guy spent $12,000 just because lightning struck by his truck just to get the computers redone. Uh, that, that fuel pump repair for that um, Peterbilt, yet, or Peterbilt yesterday, that's going to be a good $1,500 or more. So it's just, these repairs aren't like cars. The tires are not like cars. All the prices are not like cars. So. I'm gonna be a king for a little bit, see if that broker gets back to me, but it's it's pulling teeth out here again just to get something that's worthwhile. So, but I'll, I'm gonna stick to my guns and uh, know my worth. Thank you so much. Thank you.
uh, for three dollars i don't know we'll see how good it tastes but that's not a lot of chicken for three bucks but that, that's today's world right oh yeah yeah to be honest those things should be on the dollar menu but there is no dollar menu anymore remember when it used to be dollar menus like dollar burritos and all that stuff not anymore um but yeah not not that not three bucks maybe three dollars is now the new one dollar anyways there was this load that popped up the cow load came off the board finally they didn't they offered 14.50 see that right here there's this new load going down to Walmart, but it picks up in like 20 minutes. So, Sage Robinson, I emailed my uh, my buddy, and we will see what he comes up with. These things are pretty cute. Five bucks though. They have a better deal than those wraps. All right, let's see if they get that one. If we get anything, guys. That is going to be a wrap, guys. Um, all the loads I've been on, they get pushed the next day. Brokers don't move on the uh, offers, so. Maybe it's just not a great freight market out here, but it, there's a lot of loads. Maybe people just take it for cheaper. I don't know, but uh, I'm not gonna waste any more time here. I'm gonna get through Atlanta, get to the other side before traffic gets too bad. But I tried my best, but if we take loads for that cheap, then that becomes a new norm and that's what the brokers expect. So I know some guys have to move. I am, I've worked hard to be in a position where I don't have to just move my truck every day. I can, um, wait for those loads that actually are worthwhile but uh, I just I, I'm <laughs> I say it a lot but I'm worried about the freight industry it's I think it's already in pretty big shambles but how much worse can it get I don't know let's get through Atlanta though let's go okay I've got a guy walking across I'm gonna wait for him my buddy in the other uh, K-Dub over there is just chilling so I've never spent so much time at a truck. Well, I've probably spent as much time at a truck stop before as looking for loads. But it's time to get through Atlanta. It's almost one o'clock and I do not want that five o'clock traffic. I'll probably still get traffic, but not as bad as I could get. But I appreciate it, JP. It was so good seeing Allison, Jerry, Caitlin, Andrew, and Lisa yesterday at uh, good old Hey Guy Diesel. Uh, but I am glad that I don't need any big repairs and I can just say hi to them and Get on going, but those repairs cost a lot of money, and that is exactly why you can't just take loads for nothing. It sucks to waste the, the days, but I mean, I'd rather be closer to home and, and on the other side of Atlanta <laughs> if I'm gonna be waiting any longer. Oh, sorry, UPS got a Kenworth UPS coming up on my left side, but he's stopping. All right, old glory, I'll see you later. Let's get uh, back on 75. When people say it's all times of day, it really kind of is, but the nighttime you can kind of cruise through here, no problem, but anytime during the day. <laughs> so we're still 1.5 miles from our exit to go 85, and yeah, we'll slow and go. But hey, I'd rather have this than dead stop, so we'll take what we can get uh, and get back home, towards home at least. Stop uh, maybe at the border of uh, Georgia and South Carolina and look at loads again maybe before that but it is just uh fourth quarter just started i don't know something like that. if people are worried about the government shutdown or what like america really needs to get its act together <laughs> people in office i guess there's fire alarms being pulled <laughs> i don't know what's going on but uh it seems like eh, not everyone's working together to, to prosper they're working against each other i don't know just pray for our our country that's all we can do Okay, we're gonna look for some loads right here. Exit 160 almost out of Georgia and I'm just gonna wash this thing It's been a while but the tires are dirty the trucks dirty. She needs to be clean. You look good. You play good You play good to pay good. That's a quote from Dion Sanders. Let's just get this thing going Metro is 431 Man, it's a little bit high 429 on the other side. We did get fuel over here. I want to say it was three I forgot 380 something and then we got 377 with Truck Smarter the other day, so a little bit high there, uh, TA Petro. And that story yesterday about that guy's fuel, he had like rust or like orange juice colored fuel out of a TA. I've just never had a good good luck with TA Petro. It's probably my least favorite truck stop. Uh, but this one does have a um, streaking bacon. So if we get a wash, should be about $42. That's a pretty paint job on that k up over there. Show you guys that and then we'll get going. Watch out, golf cart. Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't want to hit you. All right, just turn around. Oh, going in there. Okay. Hey, see that uh, blue and black K-Dub? It's nice. I don't like that sleeper. 
so much because you don't have much room in the back. Uh oh, we got JBs going at us. It's a lady driver, she's checking her uh, flatbed. There you go. All right, let's get the streak of bacon. And that, my friends, is why you have to get trailer washouts. <laughs> Uh, it's probably turned the reefer off and yeah it might have had some meat product in it or something but yeah it looks a little red all right we have one two him three in line he got in front of me right before i did i dropped my trailer because i wanted to be able to get the mud flap holders and stuff but uh should have been a little more quick about it i would have been next in line in front of him okay we're all good let's get in there but yeah it's trailer washout guys Ugh. Uh, just tractor and motor no brightener thanks man Tag what? Rig, no, none of that. No, thanks, babe. Cool. Right thanks. So we will go from this to. There goes the rain shower. They did a good job. They really worked hard on it. So. $62, I didn't realize you got a discount. If you did the trailer also, it's $42. So pretty much $20 more and you uh, get your trailer done. So next time I'll just do the trailer also. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I don't know if that's something new or what, but all right. So that, she is shining now. She needed it. All right. Well, she is sparkling clean again. That's all I could ask for. Um, but I was looking there for loads. Of I was sitting there waiting for my truck, and yeah, nothing, guys. Even for tomorrow, it's kind of it's kind of sad. So I don't know what what happened this week or last week. It's been like the last two weeks. It's been kind of hard. Just those solar panel loads, but even those solar panels are only coming out of here, and it is uh, pulling teeth to get that eighteen hundred dollar rate. So I don't know. There's a couple more tomorrow's solar panel, but they're twelve hundred bucks right now. So you gotta wait till the end of the day for them to come on up. But as far as little decent ones for the rain, it's not good. Even right when I was right there in McDonough, or Griffin, Georgia area, they're not worth it. It's like uh, they're not bidding at all, and a lot of them are disappearing right away. So if people are taking them for those rates, yikes! That is just adding to the problem. I don't know if it's too many new drivers, too many uh, people from. Uh, getting new citizenship here that are starting to take loads. I don't know. I don't know. There's just not enough loads to take, but it seems like there's plenty on the board, but they're being taken for pennies on a dollar. So, huh. We're going to get back to what makes us happy, what keeps us going, and that's family. So, I'm going to deadhead the, the extra, I just, what, I just 180 miles to get back home from Griffin. I was looking for stuff on the way, but nothing there. So, it's going to stop at Lake House, but I really don't need to. I'd rather get home to T-Dubs. Um, got a couple little surprises coming up in the next couple weeks that are pretty cool for our family. Uh, one's really cool and one's helpful, so we'll be on the lookout for that. And, and let's get back home safe and sound. See what tomorrow holds. You know me, and I might be a little biased, but the best rest area in the country. Right there, right there. Rest one. Only because it's on the lake that I love. <laughs> but also you can get down to the lake, enjoy a little bit of time, reflect on life, and just uh, be your feet in the water if you want to. That is the first exit going in South Carolina from Georgia on 85. Make progress. Almost home. Way station closed. Georgia was closed also, so 4 o'clock, 4.30 in the afternoon. Not doing business. Not today. Not on a Tuesday. There's some kind of thing tomorrow, guys. Let me know in the comments about um, kind of emergency alert service, I guess, like Amber Alert. I don't know. I just started hearing about it from people. But um, I don't know. It's like a FEMA alert thing. Well, let me know what you know about that thing in the, in the comments. Well, what is that all about? And we're going to keep getting home. Get over for the officers. Uh, well, what they got going on there? behind a school bus and you know I'm never going to uh, miss any lake opportunities. I don't see one boat out there though, but it is 84 degrees. Water's probably getting cold though. I don't know if we're going to make it back for this summer. Uh, we got renters for the entire week. I think that's this weekend. I'll have to ask T-Dubs, but uh, they're renting for a whole week, so it must be game day or something for Clemson. Or maybe they want to go fishing or maybe there's a fishing tournament. I don't know, but it's a blessing whenever we have renters because the whole week's going to pay for that 
house for the whole year, or for the whole month, sorry. But I wish for the whole year. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. It's nice to have a, a rental property uh, that you can use yourself during the summer, uh, or even during the winter. So, yeah, pretty cool that we can get, that t up sets that up for us. Doesn't look like there's an accident. Just, uh, man, I don't know. No, no, but hey, stopped for a little bit, wasn't too bad, kept moving. Almost home. I know I keep saying that, but man, let's go. Hey, guys. What's going on? Yeah, I'm going Are you in the FLD now? Do you give it a rev, or what are you doing? Yeah, oh, yeah. Where's your brother? Oh, there you go. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are you doing, brother? Beautiful day, huh? How's school? How's school going? Good. good, good, good. Your crazy brother's honking horns again. Always playing with trucks. Oh yeah, he does. All right, guys, we gotta get home. Good, do good in school. Thanks for revving the truck Bye, up for guys. me. Bye, guys. See you, on the next one. <laughs> See you on the next one. Later, dudes. We are home. So nice. Uh, trees are starting to lose their leaves, though. Thank you, Red Wheels, for getting us here. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset. I'm gonna say hi to these boys and T-dubs. Close this video out, guys, and just pray for better days. <sighs> I hate wasting a whole day doing nothing. Oh, hello, Boots. Come here, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. How you been? Been fighting people, or what are you doing? Not much? Okay. Well, we have some decorations out. I told T. Oh, there's that guy made it to the front yard. T. Dubs couldn't figure this thing out, so uh, I said I'd help her. And I get the other ones out of the uh, attic. This is one of Cash's uh, birthday presents. Yeah. Push it down. What happens? Oh! I don't know he's... Oh, he gave you something else. Is this like a little oh. try to figure things out thing? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Tiki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry for not paying attention to you. I'm so sorry for not paying attention to you. Okay, so can you... Um, We've got to find a third one, guys, and then we'll close this video out. Well, on that note, guys, Cash is playing with slime. Oh, my goodness. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you want to see more of that, t will put it on her video. No, I'm going to put it on KCK oh, Plays. Oh, KCK Plays, yes. the boys' channel, the boys' other channel. They have two channels, 3BB and KCK Plays. But uh, I hear something going with the park, so I'm going to go check that out, and then I'm going to get this video edited, put it out to you guys, and pray for a better tomorrow. Get ready. Here we go. Okay, so, yeah, I could hear somebody on a PA and I didn't know what was going on, but it's Meet the Truck where you can like go check out. Free range, free range chickens. We might have to wake up the boys. And on that note, guys, God bless you, and we will see you on the next one. Uh, a little bonus footage, we ended up bringing the boys. Oh yeah. Why not, right? Ha, ha, ha.